So let's start with our uh, reduction half reaction. We have permanganate anion, and I could have written this as potassium permanganate, but just to simplify it, since we know it dissociates in water, instead of writing the K plus, we're interested in, in really just the um, the, the uh, MnO4, since the uh, manganese is what's going to get reduced. Uh, the H plus ions are going to be supplied by the um, sulfuric acid, and uh, I'm going to need five electrons to be able to reduce this guy to Mn2 plus and to get four waters, and there you have a nice balanced uh, reduction reaction. Right. Well, how did I know that uh, it was reduced to the plus? Well, that was given to us. And if you know that in the permanganate, if uh, oxygen is negative 2, negative 2 times 4 is negative 8, and the overall charge is negative 1, well, this has to be plus 7, right? So that's why I need 5 electrons to get the 2 plus. Now, let's look at the oxidation half reaction. In the FAS, it was told to us that um, we have iron 2 plus and what's formed is Fe3 plus, and that's just uh, with the loss of one electron. But now we need five electrons, so it's going to require five moles of the FAS to react with one mole of the MnO4, because uh, to reduce the MnO4, we're going to need five electrons. And each mole of the FAS, which is really what this guy here is, uh, is only going to supply um, one uh, electron. So as a result, what we have is something like this. MnO4 minus plus AH plus plus five Fe2 plus yields Mn2 plus plus four, it's actually four in front of there, four H2O plus five Fe3 plus. All right, so this is our uh, our combination of these two half reactions, and um, yeah, so since we need five, since each iron supplies one electron, we need five, so we're going to need five irons, right? These five electrons from the iron are going to reduce the Mn plus seven to the Mn plus two on the right, with the formation of four waters, and um, so. Let's just note a couple things here. Potassium permanganate is a strong. What type of agent? Well, it loves to get reduced, so it's an oxidizing agent. Right? Oxidizing agents uh, get reduced. And secondly, in this reaction, H plus ions are required for the reduction of the permanganate ion. Yeah. So you need these uh, eight protons here so that you can um, uh, get four waters on the uh, on the other side, right? So that um, that's why we added the sulfuric acid to help the reduction reaction along. Let's let's now look at our titration and taking that theory into account. What do we do? We knew 
first the molar mass of FAS, which is 392.2 grams per mole. And we took about um, 4 grams, right? So the mole of our um, FAS and our volumetric glass was 4.00 over 392.2 grams per mole equals 0 0.0102 mole and then we filled up that volumetric with water right so the concentration of the uh, stock FAS solution is 0 0.0102 over 0. Uh, one zero zero hundred ml, but it's a, it's a very accurate uh, volumetric flask, so let's put another zero there. And uh, using our rules of significant figures, we have uh, zero point one oh two molar stock FAS. And um, well, how many moles of FAS did we use to titrate? Let's see. And I'll just put a uh, titrate here. But we had an original concentration of 0 0.102 molar, and we took 25 ml, right? So it was 0 0.025, let's say 0 liters if you. Uh, Hopefully you were accurate um, with your purette. So you have a, what is that, three significant figures for each. So our answer should have three significant figures. And uh, that's going to equal 0 0.00255 mole. And that was in our uh, Erlenmeyer flask. Then we added our sulfuric acid. And then we wrote our titrate, right? Now, if we know that 5 moles of FAS react with 1 mole of the uh, potassium uh, permanganate, then The moles of KMNO4 is going to equal 0 0.00255 divided by 5. Because uh, each, each one of these guys. is going to eat up five ions right? For, for those five electrons. So the number of moles of KMNO4 we can figure out because it's 0 0.00255 with the number of moles of uh, FAS divided by five. So that's going to equal 0 0.00510 moles. So we have our uh, 1 to 5 ratio, and um, now we know the number of moles of uh, KMNO4, so let's do our final calculation. Concentration of our KMNO4 equals 0 0.000510 moles over, well, let's say you titrated on average uh, between your two or three trials, 0 0.0502 liters, which is about, uh, what is that, 50.2 ml, right? One on one two molar.
So what, why why did the bottle say or actually read 0 0.02 molar? Well, remember um, the permanganate is a very strong oxidizing agent. Loves to get reduced and. Uh, who knows when that was prepared? If it was a week before, even two weeks, uh, a lot of it's going to react um, with the atmosphere or, or things in the air. So, what we determined what is that the label is now wrong, and um, the actual concentration is uh, 0.01. So, there you have it.